Radio Internet. Today we try the power meter from my gym. We also try the new cycling feature on the Apple Watch and iPhone. It can be connected to Bluetooth accessories and even connect to the new power meter we installed today. But even if you don't have a power meter, I think Apple Watch's new feature is still very useful. This is the power meter from my gym. It is one of the most affordable power meter on the market, less than $300, and even come with a pair of crank arms. Those arms are Shimano compatible, which is great because Shimano cranks are very easy to install. You simply insert them into the holes, tighten the preload cap, and tighten the screws. That's how you install Shimano style crank arms. Inside the box, you will find a power meter and the crank arms. This type of equipment used to be very expensive and was only owned by professional and hardcore cyclists. However, the price has dropped a lot now, making it accessible to regular people like us. It can be a very nice tool for self-training or just use it for fun. Once the power meter and crank arms are combined, it looks like this. If you want to use your original Shimano chain rings on this power meter, it should work. I saw it on picture people use this crank set with Shimano chain rings. And this is the chain ring that my jean sells separately. The chain ring itself feels very smooth and well made. To remove the original chain ring from the bike. You can remove the chain ring without breaking the chain. The tip here is to remove the pedal first and then remove the chain ring. Otherwise, it can be super difficult to remove the pedal later on. The Shimano 105 crankset weighs 755 grams and the Maijin crankset weighs 767 grams. So it is 12 grams heavier. The Shimano style hole looks like this with a 2.4 diameter on both sides. When installing it, you don't need any spacers on both sides. It is probably the easiest to install crank set on the market. And it looks quite good, doesn't it? The style is different from the 105 chain ring. The 105 chain ring is more curved and elegant in design. While this chain ring has more mechanical and rugged look. Now the bike has that modified bike look. Attach the charger and the power meter is awakened for the first time. You can add power related fields to your bike computer. I had only speed, distance and gear. Now you can add some power related fields. In actual use, it looks like this. At the top is your speed, followed by your current power in watts, and below that is the percentage of your FTP. Of course, for someone who rides just for fun, displaying power while riding may not have much use. I believe its main use comes after the ride. You can check how much you have exercised, and remind yourself don't be too easy on yourself. But of course, if you are a serious cyclist, this machine is much more useful. Besides this power meter, I also have Asioma pedals and Wahoo Kicker trainer that provides power reading. I compare this power meter with those. I find the data I provide almost the same as Wahoo Kicker and Asioma. So I guess this one is pretty accurate. I saw that GP Nama had already tested this power meter. He confirmed this power meter is very accurate. Mr. Lama seems to be a very smart and honest person, so I believe the accuracy of this power meter is very good. 
Recently, watch OS X has the update on its cycling function. It can now connect to Bluetooth cycling accessories, like Bluetooth cadence sensor and power meter we installed. Even my old Apple Watch 6 can do it. You access the Bluetooth settings. Then, the watch will detect your power meter under the health devices. Now, the watch will tell you to go to the Workout app to set up if you want to see the metrics like power or FTP. So, we click on the little yellow running person icon to enter the Workout app. Then, we find the cycling option. Look for the dot 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 symbol next to it. Click on it, and you will see the preference option. Click on that, and you will find the workout views. Now you can start arranging what views you want to display on the screen. For our first page, I let it show speed, power, cadence, and heart rate. You can add more pages just like with Garmin. Then, on your watch, press start to begin your bike ride, and you are all set. Your watch will display the fields you set earlier, and your phone will show a clock to tell you the total time you have been riding. Tap the clock, and you will get the same fields as on the watch, just like you set up before. Speed, power, cadence, and heart rate. It is basically a real bike computer and you can make it even more complex if you want it. The screen may appear quite reflective on the video, but in real use, it is actually very clear. Well, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.